Hi guys, I know T-Mobile users in Netherlands are having boot loop issues, so this video is sort of gonna try to help you. The first thing we're gonna fix, um, if you're in a boot loop, we're gonna go ahead and reset, hard reset, factory reset your LG G7. And then I'm gonna show you how to uh, install another firmware. I think what happened was LG's latest update probably broke your phone. You can install another country's firmware. I know not all of Europe has been impacted, so if you flash another firmware from like, let's say Germany or something, then you should be able to use your phone, right? Because it's it's a firmware update issue. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna imagine that you are in a boot loop, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and reset your phone by holding down uh, volume down and power. After your phone goes off, you're gonna keep holding down the volume down and the power. But when you see the logo, you're gonna let go of the button for like a second and then hold it back. That will get you into the system reset menu. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down volume down and power volume down and power, wait till, imagine you're in a boot loop, and as soon as you see the logo, now it's rebooting, as soon as you see the logo, let go of the button, and then you're gonna hit it again, like that, just like that. And this will get you into the system reset menu. All right, this is actually the same on all LG phones. If you ever end up in a boot loop, you never root at your phone, um, you can reset everything. Of course, it's gonna erase everything on your phone, but the good thing is you're gonna get your phone working again. So go ahead and say yes. And also for those of you affected with the SIM card issue, um, take the SIM card out right now, all right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and say yes. This will factory reset everything, but it will get your phone booting again. All right, say yes, hit the power button. And you can see it's erasing everything and you will boot back into a brand new welcome screen, all right? This will at least get you out of the boot loop. And from what I've been seeing online on Reddit and YouTube, it seems like after people have done this, people who know how to do this have done this, but after they reboot and put their SIM card in, um, their phone boot loops again. So in order to fix that, you can obviously flash another country firmware. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that next. All right, once booted, um, go ahead and just sign in. You can just go skip through it since we're gonna go ahead and flash a new firmware anyway. All right, so once signed in, the first thing you're gonna do uh, is go into settings. Go into settings, go to general, and go to about phone, and go to common, and go into um, hardware info. All right, make a note of your uh, model number. Mine is an LMG910EMW. I know the phones that are affected right now are LMG710EM, which is a European model. And uh, mine is an EMW, which is a, like sort of Asian model. So I'm gonna note that. And also go into software info, and this is gonna tell you which country it is from. Mine says uh, V10D HKG, all right? And also note the Android security patch level. This is gonna be your, your software version, all right? So mine is a Hong Kong from July 1st. Um, next, you're gonna go ahead and plug it to your computer via um, USB Type-C cable. You'll need a Windows computer for this. Um, you can go ahead and set it to file transfer, I think. All right, and let's go to our computer. All right, guys, next you'll need to download LG Up. All right, this is the program. And also go ahead and um, download LG Up Common. Go ahead and double click on this to install the LG Up program. Now I've already installed it, so that's why I installs super quickly. All right, once that's installed, you still need to install the LG Up Common. So do a co copy. This DLL is for LG G7. Now you'll need a different DLL file for um, different LG phones. So if, if you're using another LG product as LG V30, go ahead and download the, um, you can just Google it. You should be able to find the DLL file for LG Up. Um, but this one is for LG G7, all right? So I'm gonna do copy. You can go into your C directory and program files x86 and go ahead and find LG Electronics. Go into LG UP directory, go into model and go into common. If common doesn't exist, make a new folder called common like this. All right, there should be a file here, but we're gonna go ahead and paste it over and go ahead and replace. And this will allow us to connect to our LG G7. All right, again, if you're using another LG, simply just download the different LG file for it. All right, next, also you need to download um, firmware. 
So there's various different sites, but this is one of the sites you can download. I just Googled it. Just Google your model number and for firmware. And you can see mine is actually a Hong Kong uh, HKG. So the current firmware I have is actually this one here. But LG G7s that are having problem is actually the, the LMG 710 EM, the European models. And I think this is the Netherlands model um, that probably updated. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but I know it's one of the firmers recently. So it's probably one of these, uh, one of these ones something like this one I think so what you want to do is grab another firmware from another country um, something recent but not too recent maybe grab something like you may have to try several different ones um, but yeah just go ahead and download something else like the French one maybe you can go ahead and try the French one right but since I don't have that model I actually have the EMW model here so what I'm gonna do is um, I downloaded the Australian one um, from October 18th all right. Um, so I've downloaded that and go ahead and run the LGUP program. LGUP. Oh, you also need LG drivers. Sorry. So grab the uh, LG drivers also. You can find it on my site. I'll have a link to it. Um, install the LG drivers. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and open up LGUP. Okay, now it should be working. All right, perfect. So you should be able to see your version here, uh, which means your phone's connected. And we're going to go ahead and um, simply click on here and click on this dot, dot, dot. Oops, let me do that. Click on the dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to go ahead and find the um, firmware file I just downloaded, ending in .kdz. All right, this is the one for Australia. Let me go ahead and open. And, and I'm going to hit start. And this should allow me to um, change my firmware to the Australian one. And like I said, if you have the LMG 710 EM version, um, if you flash another country, um, you should be able to use your phone after that. All right, because I think um, it's only causing problems uh, with that particular version. Now, when you flash a new firmware, um, sometimes there's this thing called anti-rollback. So if you're going from like Oreo to Nougat, um, you have trouble flashing it. All right, if you're watching this in the way future, maybe you're watching this and trying to fix um, Android Pie to Oreo. But um, LG G7 ships with Oreo, so you should be able to flash any Oreo. Um, that won't be an issue with uh, anti-rollback. And when this is done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and check um, that our firmware has been changed to the Australian one. And for those of you with the troubled uh, LMG 710EM, the T-Mobile, I think, Netherlands version, you should be able to change the country firmware and get your phone working. You don't have to do this. You could just return your, obviously, phone to LG, but if that's like an issue, maybe you li live out in the wild or something, you absolutely need to get your phone working. Um, this video should help you fix your own phone. Um, just pretty simple process. And for those of you with other LG phones, the process is exactly the same. Uh, you could do this on L any LG phone, um, exact same steps. You just gotta find the firmware, also the different DLL file, uh, and then you can use LG up. And you can even change um, model numbers which I did with the LG, oh sorry, LG G6 giveaway. I'll have a link to that video also, which is similar to this, but you can go ahead and change the model number. Um, for that, you can also go ahead and, you know, let's say you want to change um, LMG 710EM W, which I have to LMG 710EM, uh, you could change it that way too. All right, so now it's done flashing, rebooting, and now it's erasing. Right. And your phone should now be on another country firmware without the affected, hopefully, um, the reboot issues. Because the reboot issues came with the SIM card of T-Mobile in Netherlands. But obviously that happened through an update and the update had a bad code or something. And um, this will allow you to get your phone working. Now later on, um, if they fix it, you can go ahead and switch your firmware back to um, your own country's firmware. Or you could keep using it. I mean, all these phones are pretty much the same, um, different country firmware. The only real difference is uh, maybe some of the bloatware that comes with your carrier. So 
if you don't care about that, you can flash any uh, country firmware. So it's 100% done. I can go ahead and close out of um, the LG up and let's go ahead and take a look. Sorry, these wires are <laughs> probably bugging some of you guys with OCD, but I'm not too OCD, so. All right, finally at the welcome screen, we're gonna go ahead and skip through it. Or you could go ahead and sign in now. All right, you can see it's already changed to Australia. So I'm just gonna leave it there. All right, even setting my time to Australia. I'll change it later. All right, uh, moment of truth. If I go into settings, oops, general, and about phone, common, under software info, you should see that um, the software has changed to Australian, LAO, I think it's Australian, yeah. And also well, security patch level to September 1st, so. Yeah, now you should be on a different firmware, so if you're using the T-Mobile affected version um, out in Netherlands, go ahead and try this to change your firmware, and then now go ahead and insert your SIM card, and you should be able to use it. Anyway, try it for those of you with the affected Netherlands T-Mobile LG G7 with Bluetooth issues. Uh, in theory, this should fix your phone and get it working on another country firmware. Um, and also, this is how you could flash any firmware on the LGs, all the LGs. It's pretty much the same. Um, have a great day. Hit the thumbs up. And as always, stay on Android. Click here.